So today we will try to understand how exactly a cross talking functionality will work in the system. Okay. And what are the methodologies that we have in the EWM to make sure that this particular cross talking is going to work out? Okay. So basically, the purpose of having this particular cross talking is indeed this is a method in order to optimize the utilization of a space indeed we can say that okay where we will be making use of the most of the process like for example if you want to process in a warehouse because in some in some of the three pls or in some of the warehouses normally what happens is we will not be utilizing the warehouse spaces because it's only the purpose of storing it and then we will be sending it up it means ideally we will not be performing any set of actions to them it is directly we will receive the goods and then we will be sending it outside your warehouse so in that cases basically there is a functionality of this particular cross talking what we try to do is this cross talking has a several benefits as i have mentioned here including what it reduces the handling of the materials in a warehouse okay in order to avoid the certain damages and the additional labor re requirements because when we are trying to perform this cross docking ideally what happens if you see in a case one we will try to move this into a certain gr area and then we will perform a quality check and then a packing and then we will move it to the this particular uh, storage basically okay however but in this particular example like whatever we are seeing it here because here we will perform this gr and then a quality check and then we we might store it in any of this particular small age so there is a certain activity which needs to be performed but in some of the products what we do is we'll receive a full pallet okay we do not need to perform any activity so what happens okay we simply receive it and then we store it this is an uh, one activity what we have it here okay if not one second guys sorry okay so in this particular uh, uh, handling unit what happens is we will have a certain products that we just receive it and then we store it and whenever there is a customer order we will just send it out from the warehouse so this doesn't need any kind of an activities like a book because we do not need to perform any kind of a gr or any kind of a quality or any kind of a packing or anything that is not even required here however in this kind of scenarios what we can do is we can have a cross talking methodology can be implemented where as soon as a customer order has been placed that can be directly shipped to your gr area from a gr which is from the goods received area we can ship it to the goods issue area where we do not need to store it so that what happens you will be having the reducing of your all your labor activities and the space utilizations and additional activities and all that can be reduced and it can be simply moved to the gia area and from gia area you can simply load it out okay this is what a particular cross talking methodology we will call it out okay so when we try to have this particular scenario in place basically oops, one second let me just uh, okay this is what it tells you get so this cross docking has a several benefits from a warehousing perspective what it reduces the handling of the materials in a warehouse potentially to avoid the damage okay okay well, i think i okay yeah so in this particular case we reduces the handling of the materials in a warehouse and then we avoid the damages and the additional requirements that is what we see apart from that we also need it speeds up the flow of the materials through the warehouse potentially reducing the lead times that is also we can see that now it can reduce the storage space requirements and the stock keeping costs means we do not need to store them over here because as soon as we receive it in your warehouse we are just shipping it out of your uh, into your staging area so that is something where we will have it in your gr area means as soon as we receive the goods then we will have a certain outbound delivery maintained for that and the goods will be automatically shipped out this is what the purpose of having your staging area i mean like the cross docking functionalities in place now indeed we have the two different kind of a cross dockings indeed so like what one is your planned cross docking 
and the other one is about your unplanned crosstalking so on top of it this crosstalking we do have a multiple types of crosstalking one is about your transportation crosstalking the second one is your merchandise distribution the third one is your opportunistic crosstalking so this is the one which is widely used and we will be using it in the ewm landscape the other one is push deployment and pick, pick when the goods are this has never been used even in any of the projects most of the cases we will use this opportunistic crosstalking or a transportation crosstalking this transportation crosstalking is something where it will help you to have with your tm landscape and opportunistic crosstalking is something where we will be having it with your ewm system okay so as i have mentioned that so we will be talking about this opportunistic one what happens in this particular opportunistic this is something where we will have the ewm system itself will be triggering it because we do not need to rely on any other instances like such as your uh, uh, tm or your uh, retailer whatever it is where the tm system the ewm system will be triggering it okay the cross token and that's where we will be generating the warehouse tasks for put away or either for the picking okay that is what happens now this cross talking can also happen in inbound or also in the outbound also either of the two steps we can do it now these are the steps that we would be required in order to trigger your cross talking which is nothing but your opportunistic cross talking and for that to happen indeed the first thing is we need to activate the baddy for a cross talking so whether it is an inbound or an outbound the standard functionality in order to trigger this this is something where we would be using it now the same way we also need to create a product group now if you can remember that this product group is something where that we have created in your value added services okay that we will be creating a cd and this cd will be or like any other things whatever we created that we will be assigning it to your product master in your ewm system but there is something that you need to understand one point actually in this particular uh, stock at a gr area the stock type will be always an f1 stock type because that's the receive on dock stock type and the stock type in your gi area will be your afs stock type which is available for a sales stock type so then how does the goods will be moving from your gi area to your sorry from your gr area which is from your goods received area to your goods issue area that is where we have something called as a stock determination group concept indeed okay this stock determination group indeed will help you out to trigger a different stock types that is something where we will be looking after in the system now so the main configuration relies on this particular one and as well as creating this product groups and the other most important config is the stock determination group these are the important factors that needs to be triggered i mean like needs to be maintained in the system ideally however now when we try to maintain these things like where we can see that in the extended warehouse management okay in the cross cross settings okay uh the shipping and the saving dock appointment scheduling and this is where we will so sorry the dock appointment 